result of that charge? Well, it's one turn on, and essentially what happened was the um, the unit was completely wiped out. I think it had three strength points. They were completely gone, the one that it charged, the disrupted one, which brought the charging fellow next to, adjacent to another unit, which was one in square. Obligatory had to charge that. That one, it disrupted back. But um, the, uh, it routed back with a, a loss, the cavalry unit. But the overall outcome was that area was then cleared up. And you can see the French are coming through, sending out some skirmishers ahead. And even some column formations. But it's, not, it's more a probe. Um, there's cavalry back here. And, um, you know, we've got cavalry here and lines here, so these could quite easily get bonked. Um, however, there are three artillery batteries here, and these are really cover to bring up more artillery. There's some artillery there and some artillery there. Um, this is a very strong line the French have. If you remember, there's um, they're behind obstructed terrain there. Um, so they can lob artillery shells and hit on five, six, maybe even three, depending on what formation, how many troops are in the formation. And these ones will only ever get a sh uh, uh, one straight point hit on them on a six. So any artillery duel, um, they're going to come badly off it. The cavalry had or already taken a hit, so they're not going to want to stand there for long in, in face of this. They'll be going down, I expect, hiding behind the lip of the hill as it were there so um but similarly the french are quite ginger about moving across that space um because the artillery uh, the cavalry could sweep up um and you can get opportunity fire if from artillery if someone's within two hexes but obviously if you're moving your infantry out here the cavalry could sweep around the side here for example there won't be any opportunity fire from that artillery so they couldn't cover that. So, um, Wellington, uh, uh, top, the uh, top of the, the end of last turn, reached a, another kind of a difficult, I had a difficult decision point. He could have activated this cavalry and this um, brigade as well and brought them round so to follow this new, newly activated cavalry and brigade. Um, the idea being to hit the flank and really cause damage, but the French have consolidated it quite well. And um, if these go in, then that French cavalry will come up. Then they answer that French cavalry, and then there's still some cuirassiers here, which could then trump whatever else is going on there. So he held off. Um, he had moved over there with the intent of doing that. He's held off. So now the question is, what? Well, is he going to do um he can't well then then the next one is okay let's hit them on this flank but um we got artillery coming up here the french have cleared this the french were considering come clearing back coming back here and holding their flank along here and all this protected terrain um but really they need a bit of breathing space because otherwise you know that that sort of would constrict them within this they could be sort of squashed. Um, they want like a, this as a second line of defence, not the first line of defence or else any breakthrough. And um, for example, the Anglard could perhaps move all the way around. But the French still have two brigades here as well that are unactivated. So at the moment, the French are definitely winning this battle because they've got the reserves. The um, These are still in reserve and these are still in reserve. But like I said, these are kind of like blocked so um this flank is kind of like stalemated so then the question is what's going to happen to these if Anglo if wellington makes a move here then these will move up and make the decisive move on that flank um uh here it's also stalemated and then along this line and this line it's also stalemated so we've got this probe here it's I've reached that point, in, you know, the losses, as we saw, and it's, the Anglo Allies are taking more losses each turn, so they're going to be withdrawing back. Effectively, Wellington, I think he could withdraw his army at this point, 
because there's not too much contact he won't take too much damage as he does that he could effectively withdraw it and um, force a draw but um, you know each side wants the victory um, so the French would would they be satisfied with a draw? No, they'd probably try and do something decisive then. Wellington would hope to sort of capture them on the off balance. So that's a possible tactic he could do. Essentially, he's waiting for the French to make a mistake. And the French are waiting for that decisive opening, really, so that they can throw their cavalry in, um, uh, followed up by infantry and artillery, or should that be the other way around? But, you know, I mean, they, they want to make, make a decisive stroke that rolls up a line so that the the allied losses so far outstrip the french losses that there's no way that the allied army can win so i'm finding this an excellent scenario because it's very close it's you know like it's 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 a maybe it's a microcosm of the whole waterloo battle and wellington said it was a near run thing and it is a very near run thing and as somebody commented on uh, one of the earlier uh, early videos that the Prussians need to come on to save the day. Wellington's just holding on. The French are looking for that moment just to snap the back. And uh, if those Prussians came on, that would be it, over. The French wouldn't. Um, they would have to make their lunge. It would probably be parried and they would be sent back reeling. But as it is, we're still on this, we're teetering on the edge. Wellington's clinging on. The French are are kind of poised but haven't yet found that place so yeah great and it's exhausting me but because in, in a good way um it is a monster game in that you, you know it's like you know every turn you have to every you have the fire phases the movement phases the command phase is quick and you have to go up and down each line every turn so it takes a while but i find it very compelling in that i uh, this day I'm just watching my son and I, I've, I've, I've left him sort of pretty much we're not really doing anything and uh, so I keep coming back just doing one more turn of this and uh, trying to get it to the that point where, where we reach a decisive point I, do, I, I think I have to close it down now I might be able to do a couple more turns this tonight if I'm not too tired I might have to stop and just um, I'm thinking of watching Master and Commander because I have it on video Wishing I could watch the Dunkirk movie in uh, English. I'm here in Italy and I, I don't stand enough Italian. I know I wouldn't want to watch it in Italian. It wouldn't be the same. Um, so I think I'm going to have to end up watching it on video. But I'd love to see it in a cinema. I hear it's a fantastic movie. Um, really sort of grip, gripping. Uh, but I've got my own little mini slow burn <laughs> gripping <laughs> action here. And... Um, that's it. Look at the dead pile piling up. Um, so, over and out for now.